lies, damned lies, and statistics. The numbers, basically. What do they mean? While great individual performances propel teams to victory, there have been some downright terrible statistical showings in Call of Duty history. The year is 2016, and the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 season is nearing its conclusion. With only the CWL World Championship to follow, teams descended on MLG Orlando as their penultimate opportunity to lift a major trophy that year. Just one year prior, FaZe Clan's Enable, Attach, Zuma, and Clayster hit serious form towards the end of Advanced Warfare, taking three event victories away from the Optic Gaming Dynasty. Playing some of their best Call of Duty of the season leading into Orlando, FaZe looks to take the opportunity to bring their dry spell to a close since the World Finals in 2015. Little did Clayster know at the time, this would be another tournament in his 1400-day streak without a victory. Almost able to stay alive. Here we go. It's down to three. The contest is in for me, United. One life left. It's just Major Maniac. E United have done it. E United have done it. We've got a new champ. And for the first time in 1400 days, Clayster will hoist a trophy. Drawn into Group C, FaZe overcame a Rise Nation squad that beat them in MLG Anaheim two months earlier, helped by a remarkable 1v3 from Enable. Positioning against them. Okay, so maybe you're letting Classic build his meter here. We'll find one. Takes down I don't a Slack. Know what Slack is doing there? And now this is doable. Well, I, I don't know what Slack is doing right there. He was caught out of position away from the rest of his teammates. Enable should be able to get the objective down. We'll see how he plays his post plan positioning now. He, I mean. Now in this spot, he can definitely still get this done. He's got an EMP to check as well. 40 seconds remaining. Yes, he does have to cut some corners on what he normally would kind of peek and look around, but for the most part, this is definitely still doable. I, I like his movement so far. You can so see through the, through the X-ray exactly oh, this, where this Rise Nation are. This is going to be perfect for him. Nabel, he's coming up right behind these players. He's going to find one. Take down Classic. Oh, the glitch from Octane is going right behind him. And Nabel stayed alive. Both players are about to meet up. Good movement so far from Enable as he's just milking no time off the clock. No way. That I do it. That's going to do it. I don't think he has time to get the bomb. There's no, no way. The there's no way he's got time. No way. No. Uh -uh. This is going to do That's it. That's are going to win it in game five and impress his performance from them. A 3-0 start secured them the first seed for bracket play, but things would quickly go south through defeat to Elevate in winner's round one. They started their loser's bracket campaign with a victory over Apotheon Esports, featuring Arsites and Pristini, Clayster's teammates three years later when he would finally break his tournament drought. Defeating Complexity and Luminosity, they forced a match with Team Envy, the eventual world champions of 2016. Zuma was confident in their chances to continue their tournament run. In 3-1 fashion, how do you feel you match up against those guys? Because you're going to be facing off against them next. Um, I know all those guys. I know how they play. I think it's going to be a good matchup. It should be a good match, so it should be a good one. Is there anybody from Envy that you're maybe afraid of or you're looking to shut down to help increase your chances at winning that match? Uh, no, we're not scared of nobody. It doesn't matter who we play. Just play whoever we get, play our game, do our thing, and then just go from there. In an incredibly hard-fought fringe hardpoint, Envy held off the comeback from FaZe to secure a six-point win. FaZe bounced back on EVAC Search and Destroy, with Clayster's Shiva providing two crucial kills in round 11. Attach went double negative at 13 and 26 in the next map. Attach, I fucking hate you, dude, so much. As FaZe found their backs firmly against the wall, heading into Stronghold, capture the flag. Usually a difficult map on which to find a breakthrough, Clayster started the game in generic fashion. Two kills, two deaths, nothing special. In fact, it was Jacob struggling at 0 in 5 early on. As FaZe increasingly pushed for a capture to no avail, Clayster's statistical performance began to suffer finishing the first half at 3 and 10. No big deal, right? Plenty of time to recover. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> at 3 and 11, FaZe secured their first capture, and Clayster's fourth kill of the game followed not long after. This would prove to be his final kill of the entire series. 4 in 12, 4 in 15, 4 in 18 and counting. Envy put in their second cap, and FaZe would run into the blender again and again as Clayster locked up one of the worst KDs we have ever seen in a respawn game mode. 
at times, but when he is on, he can take over 24 and 14. Fantastic performance coming out of him and Team Envious. And you gotta wonder what happened with place in this game. That's like you said. Well, I agree. It's very, not right. Something's very, not right. Something happened here. And I'm not entirely sure of what it is, but 4 and 22 is not what he does, not the numbers you're ever going to see him put up again, and Envious is going to close out the series. The performance was so bad, in fact, that the commentators thought something must be wrong with Clayster's equipment or setup, but that did not turn out to be the case. It seems Clayster thought he was frying. True, back in phase, you didn't used to get mad, bro. We, we, honestly, we all used to get mad sometimes. Yeah, you used to get heated. Yeah, yeah, Clay, we all used to get yeah, Sometimes we'd be like, Clay. Like, we, bro, I never forget, Clay went 4 and 23, and the, the Matt Bendon, he said, I thought I was frying. <laughs> I said, Clay, you're fucking quadruple fucking negative. What do you mean you thought you were frying? Yo, that was the funniest shit. I couldn't that. believe he said that. I was like, man, I don't want this fucking guy. But what are you going to do? Clay, Clay's just a different breed, man. You know, he's a great person to have on your team. So, you know, that guy's the GOAT, but... While Zuma meant 4 in 22 in that clip, there's a very good reason why he mistakenly said 4 in 23. Just over a year after Clay's legendary 4 in 22, FaZe, now with Gunless in place of Clayser, faced straight Rippin in their winner's round 1 matchup at the CWL World Championship. Starting off on Retaliation Hardpoint, Zuma went one better than Clay with an incredible 4 in 23. Another one for the history books. Things go sour for straight ripping, but so far they have a perfect setup on Cathedral. They need just 20 points. And Matt, we could see the game end right here. Zuma is 3 and 22. When we went to his screen, he was tweaking. He wasn't able to hit his shots. He is all over the place. I don't know, is this a controller issue? Is this a mental issue? Clearly, he was here early enough to warm up. Things are going terrible for FaZe Clan as straight ripping crushes game number one. It was later revealed that controller issues were to blame, but a true stinker nonetheless. It seems that FaZe Clan team was cursed. A 2019 CWL London on Black Ops 4, Enable, now playing for 100 Thieves, momentarily equals the performances of his former teammates. Matching up with Optic Gaming in their final group play game, Enable started frequency hardpoint an incredible 1 in 16 before recovering to 4-23 and, and eventually finishing a rather respectable 16-34 and, and still winning the map. seconds for 100 Thieves. That attack five so big. As you can see, it allows Kenny to win that gunfight. Octane finds two. 42 and 27 from Octane. Just four more seconds in it for 100 Thieves. And it looks like they're about to close out map number one. Look at Enable right now, the <laughs> smile on his face. He knows it. Okay. Can we see the scoreboard? I gotta yeah. see it. <laughs> I wanna know what he was seeing. So, okay, okay. Playster was happy to see his record broken. And there you have it. The worst individual performances in Call of Duty history. Let us know if we missed any in the comment section below. Don't forget to make that like button turn blue if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more COD highlights, recaps, and documentaries.